Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. A new patch for Rogue Trader just dropped, and it addresses a couple of things that many of you have brought up, so I thought it would be worth covering. Let me know down in the comments what your current experience is with the game, and if the vast majority of issues you have faced are fixed with this latest update. As always, a link to the patch notes is in the description below. First and foremost, this patch fixes the issue of party members having their convictions removed. Moved. After the last patch, party members such as Jay were no longer Iconoclast. This was a big deal because certain items are directly tied to your conviction rating, so some builds were heavily impacted. Not to mention it was obvious that this was done in error. That has now been fixed and party members should have their proper convictions once again. Speaking of companions, they will each have their own calls for respecialization and the first three respects are free for every member of your party. After this, it will cost a small amount of profit factor to reset their abilities. Sounds like a fair system, but I am still looking forward to when we can respect party members from level one. Jay, in particular, would really benefit from this. Talent-like features granted by Colony Projects oftentimes didn't work properly and that should now be fixed. There are a ton of these talents and some of them are really good, so this is welcome news. The warrior talent, Clint's Teeth, now works properly. It's supposed to provide additional damage deflection equal to your toughness bonus against the first attack made by every enemy in combat, but previously nothing would trigger it. This is a very powerful talent that many people will include in their Abelard builds. Pascal's unique ability, Machine Machine Spirit Communion no longer applies stacks of exploits on allies. I never noticed this happening before, and it's kind of funny to realize I was debuffing myself the whole time while using this. The Death World feature, Survival Instinct, now properly applies its 20% bonus to armor and dodge while you have temporary wounds. I haven't run a Death World character yet, so didn't realize this wasn't working, and it's good to know that it's fixed. A sorting option for cargo has been added into the vendor interface. I've been trying to think of a situation where you would want to sort the cargo outside of hiding what's untradeable, and I haven't come up with anything thus far. Regardless, the option is there if you want to do it. The attack preview, while in full cover, has been corrected. It used to only show what you could attack from behind the cover, but now it properly shows your attack options when stepping out. Definitely a nice change, as it was annoying dealing with this before. Allies will no longer hit you with burst attacks. Previously, there was an issue in the game where if you were playing with allied characters that you couldn't control directly, they would deploy burst attacks that frankly did more damage to you than to your enemies. Hopefully, that should no longer be an issue. Supposedly, animations have changed for attacks with thunder hammers and maces. I tested this out, but honestly, nothing happened, so I am not sure if this part has been implemented successfully. Finally, Psyker's Breastplate now gains an additional plus one Psy rating in case of any perils of the warp or psychic phenomena. Very powerful for Psykers, especially those who are focused more on heresy. In addition to what I already mentioned, there are a host of fixes focused on stability and making the end game as smooth as possible. Multiple quest bugs have been addressed, along with rebalancing for some of the boss battles when playing on story or normal difficulty. That wraps up all the points I felt were really pertinent regarding the new Rogue Trader patch. The patch is available now for PC and will release on consoles later today. It's been a few weeks since we last covered a patch, so please let me know what your experience with the game is at this time. Seems like things are significantly more stable than they were at launch, but I am sure there's more work that needs to be done. Hope all of you enjoyed this video. Take care!